Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Popping in here with a little intro because this is gonna be a bit of a catch up vlog. I just posted my two Croatia vlogs so you can catch up on that if you missed it. Continuing in chronological order, I have a tiny bit of a London vlog, more of like a montage because I did not end up really vlogging much there but I'm gonna play that and then we're gonna hop into more of a typical like day in my life vlog which is from setting up for my housewarming party and my housewarming party vlog. So that's what's coming in this vlog. I'll have the timestamp to skip ahead to if you don't care about London and let's go ahead and get started. Hello from London, kicking off yet another travel vlog. If you have not seen my Croatia travel vlog or vlogs, I've not edited them yet, but I will have those linked. Giselle and I got into London several hours ago, took the train um, from the far airport. I didn't realize, what's it called, Gatwick or something? And I've just been laying here on the bed the entire time since then. Coming off the Croatia trip, we have just been socialized out and are excited for some chill time over the next few days as well as the weather shift. It's like chilly here. Like I actually did not pack appropriately and I might have to go buy something. So this is Giselle's blazer, but it's cold out. So this is not the London I visited a couple of Julys ago where we were just like dying the whole time. So I packed like that was happening. But anyways, we are staying at the Hoxton Hotel. I love a Hoxton. I've stayed at the ones in Barcelona and Rome in the past. And right now we are heading out to dinner to, I thought it was called what is it, Giselle? Uh, maybe you're right. I, mean, it's like I thought it was Circula Poplar, but we just watched a TikTok and they said Chercula. So either they're right or we're stupid for thinking that's right. <laughs> so that's going to be the night. We'll pick it up tomorrow. I don't really know what's happening. We don't have as much of a plan or schedule here. But just welcome to London and let's go eat. <laughs> First full day in London. It looks like it's raining a little bit outside. <clears throat> Last night, the restaurant was really good. We slept until 10 because <laughs> we didn't set an alarm or I slept till 10, which was like 11 hours. So I'm nice and rested, but at the same time, like trying to wake up fully. Um, so we're gonna go either just get coffee in the lobby downstairs because the lobby here is like a very cute, like I think like cafe during the day and then in the evenings, it's like a loungy bar. And last night when we got home from dinner, it was popping down there. So either get coffee there or take a short walk and try to find something because then we have lunch plans, which was Giselle's one big request for the trip that she found on TikTok, right? Mm -hmm. Is that the Nobu Hotel, which is right next to us, does a brunch buffet. It's like way less expensive than what you'd be paying, like going to eat at a typical Nobu restaurant. And so we're gonna do that for lunch. So those are our next few hours, no plan after that. This is my brunch fit. We'll link all my outfits below. This with these heels. I think we're gonna do some shopping after lunch. We're heading to Nobu and I'm excited. reached the line they brought chai and Giselle said this tastes like macaroni and cheese yes. ma'am do you have COVID? <laughs>
make this up somebody is practicing opera in the room next to us <laughs> it's now time for Giselle's favorite travel hobby going to other countries grocery stores and seeing their chip flavors I will say Guinness chips I will say London is much more interesting than Croatia was. The options there were not, not speaking to us, but chicken with spices, mushroom and sour cream, <laughs> grilled bacon. Oh I wanna try all of them, but why aren't they in minis? They need a sample pack. All right, and that wraps up our London trip. I had a bit more footage than I thought, but just overall would really recommend all the places that I showed. We flew back home on the 4th of July. Somehow Giselle had the energy in her to go out to the store and get stuff to grill in the backyard to make it a true 4th. And in the days following that, we've just really enjoyed having a dining table. We're setting up fancy dinner setups every night and just catching up on some work. So that brings us to the housewarming party. Hello, you guys. You just saw my little London montage. As I kind of alluded to in my Croatia vlog, Giselle and I, mainly I, we were so exhausted from Croatia by the time we got to London, but we got back here on the 4th of July, I've been a little bit jet lagged since then, as well as we have been trying to get the house into housewarming party status because that is what I'm about to start showing you. Um, we are having our housewarming party tomorrow, which the theme is just like summer in the suburbs. It's just going to be a chill outdoor cookout and we were so excited because the only friends that have seen this um, in the past like month of living here are Adrian and Lauren that night we had that dinner party so we've been getting everything in order I will show you a couple of minor house updates as well as all the party details yeah this is just gonna be a casual vlog bringing you guys along I feel like I need to get a little bit more urgency to my you know a little more pep in my step right now to get things done but I'm sure the stress will come later because we have a lot to do as well as our neighbors we invited a couple of neighbors to the house room party that we've gotten to know they're so sweet they're like our parents ages and at their house next door they're actually having an outdoor movie night tonight so i guess they have like a big inflatable screen and we're gonna i guess the whole neighborhood's going over there for a movie night that's at eight i'm a little bit worried about getting everything done that we need to get done and going to that but, but they've invited us over previously for a wine night like around their fire pit before and we didn't go granted it was only a couple days into living here so we were just like really drained but I feel like we can't say no twice <laughs> even though we're really pushing it the amount of things that need to get done also my ankle right now we went to play tennis this morning at 7 a.m. I somehow like, you know, was leaping for the ball and landed on my ankle poorly and it's in pain. First exciting update, one room is coming together and that is the workout room. We had an electrician come to install fans in a couple of the bathrooms, which I'll explain in a moment, but they also installed outlets for our TVs. So you can see the bedroom one there too, so that we could mount the TV, so they did that. And then we just got this room all organized finally. I need to find this like gym mat. I always get asked where I got this from, so I will link it, but it's just on Amazon. We just have to find the extra um, like edge pieces. Yeah, so that's what this is looking like. And the bathrooms, very exciting. We had those put in because it's common in old houses and it's up to code, like as long as the bathroom has a window that you can open to like let the moisture out, then like that's up to code the same way as like having a bathroom fan is. So some of them have fans, like the bathrooms that don't have an exterior window, but two of them did not. And we just wanted to have it like I'd rather with something as serious as like water damage or like moisture building up throughout time like i'd rather just have that be using that versus like always having to remember to open um the window so better safe than sorry in my opinion still need to do just a tiny bit of cleaning in here but i'm mostly good we also got um curtains the curtains are here the curtain rods are not they should get here today and then we can hang curtains here as well as we need to get some for this room 
This is the room that needs the most help right now. Here in the living room, we have curtains as well. I'm blocking an address label. At night, this room was in desperate need of like some cozy lighting because the frame TV is like right up against the wall now. So we don't have the LED lights behind the TV, which apparently in the past was like what we were using at night to just like be our cozy lighting. So it's crazy what a difference one lamp will make. I actually got this off of Amazon. I wanted some kind of just like little stone vibe. So this has been really nice to have at night. Also, we got, if you guys remember the rug saga of how nasty this rug looked in here, I got this little Bissell carpet cleaner machine because my mom had it and was talking about how great it was. And I was expecting like an insane transformation. Like I was gonna like, you know, be vacuuming this up and it was gonna be like five shades lighter. And that was not the case at all. But the water that went into this thing, we cleaned everything on this and had multiple like full containers of like black water, like it was nasty. So this is much cleaner. You might remember as well, we had the real like olive tree plant that was in here. It was very cute for about four days and then we realized it needed to go outside or it's gonna die. So we did that. This is the fake olive tree also from, or no, this is from Target, I'll link it. But we had this previously, but we followed a little TikTok hack, which is because the base of it was like very tiny, like not proportional to the actual plant. Um, so we just got a bigger pot and like put some boxes in there to like raise it and then Giselle got this like um, moss stuff to go on top and this is our little spotlight at night that like brightens it up so I think it's looking better. The pots are from Amazon. They arrived scratched but what can you do? We're just over it so. I've also been a little bit of a graphic designer putting together things for the party um, that I've just made on Canva. I've made a couple little party signs so I'll show you. We also have some party favors and then one really big like main thing that I'm about to unbox that I just picked up from the print shop. So we will see together how that is. Right here in the entryway this table will be styled better but I just made these little let's party signs. So these are at a couple different places in the house. Things are looking crazy from our Costco run, um, but basically right here or maybe on the table here, I haven't decided. I'm gonna set up a little spritz station bar. So I just made this graphic, or actually I bought that graphic on um, Etsy and then customized it a little bit, but the rest came from Canva. And then back here, the fun part, well, another quick update. We hung some art up here and this picture spotlight that we need to find the charger for today, hopefully, so that that can charge. But in here, we got these little matches as party favors with the date that we moved in. Um, and then I just made this little sign that says, please take one home. Thank you for celebrating with us. Another let's party sign back here. And then here, I have a mini menu right here, but I also have it blown up to go on this wall because you guys know those shelves used to be here. And so we have not gotten around to like sanding and repainting the wall and everything. So we thought for right now, we're just gonna throw up some art <laughs> there. Later, I think eventually we're gonna do some shelves with like decorative things on it up here, like some wooden shelves. But but for now, we thought we would do the bar menu. We're actually gonna have bartenders for the party tomorrow. So a while back, I went to Alex Traeger's Barbie themed birthday party. I don't know if you guys, you may know her from um, Tasty videos. She was like a big gal over at BuzzFeed. But at her birthday party, she had these bartenders that were magicians as well as made your drinks. And that's like their whole company. Their handle on Instagram, if you wanna look them up, is I think Magic and Cocktails. I'm getting no such discount at all on this. So this is just like, I think they're really cool. But they're gonna be here breaking in the bar. That's the theme and making drinks. So they had like a big list of signature cocktails and we got to pick four and we renamed them to like housewarming party theme names. I'll show you. Giselle randomly really loves magic as I mentioned and the housewarming party is also kind of going to be a tie in with her birthday because um, we're going to be out of town for her birthday and it's like, how often are we gonna get all of our friends in the same place? So it's kind of a medley of all things celebratory. Yeah, let me show you though. So for that big menu, I just picked up from a local print shop and I'm gonna open it and frame it and hopefully it's all good because the party is tomorrow. Also our yard, you guys, things about being a homeowner, I did not realize like we literally have a turf 
lawn outside, which I thought was gonna be easy to maintain. Think again, like it looks great in California. Like I would still take this over real grass just because water and utilities get so expensive, especially in the summer. Anytime you're in a drought, there's rules about being able to water your lawn. So I think this looks way better, but I definitely underestimated like the maintenance involved to maintain a turf yard. Like all the things that fall from the trees, they don't just like biodegrade into the turf. Like you have to pick it all up. So um, yeah, that and between when we went under contract on this house and moved in, it has become a weed city. It is a new world outside from this morning because um, we finally had a yard work company come. They were here like most of the day. Like it was not cheap, but it was money well spent. So, and then here, I mean, it looks good to me. If there's any typos, it's my fault because I just sent them the graphic. But this is gonna be, oh, shoot. Don't bend, don't bend. This is gonna be our big menu. So it says Morgan and Giselle invite you to break in the bar and our drinks have been renamed to welcome to the suburbs. Kind of like welcome to the jungle. Get it? New kids on the block escrow espresso, which is just an espresso martini and white picket fizz for um, a bubbly option on here. And then it says drinks and magic on the house. Cause it's like the housewarming party. Obviously it's free. I'm going to frame this up. Here she is, it looks so good. So everybody can read the menu. Alright. Here we are, buying our stuff. Getting our desserts. It's almost party time. So I'll show you the setup. All right, we turn this dining table into a spritz station. Coming back here. The bartenders are setting up right now. And that'll be here. I need to take all this stuff outside. 